Hello, good evening. Um, I hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, I haven't had a chance to write anything on the blog for a couple of days, been fairly busy, so tonight I thought I would just do a quick vlog. I thought it would be easier, um, although um, this is my fourth attempt, so uh, now I don't care. So if I have any mistakes, just, just laugh at me because I've been trying for about half an hour to, to get something perfect and it's just not been working. Um, but tonight I'm going to tell you a bit about what's in my makeup bag. Um, I, I personally like to watch these posts online. I'm really, really nosy, so I thought it's only fair that I give something back. Um, um, and I hope you enjoy watching. So I'm just going to kick off. Um, by the way, my husband thinks I'm nuts sitting in the bathroom. It's only a place with like decent sort of light in this house because of we've got energy saving light bulbs and I really find them quite irritating. But first up in my makeup bag, I'll just show you the makeup bag. This purple one, purple and it's quite dotty, it's quite large and it gets quite heavy because I have quite a lot of stuff and when I go places I never decide what to take so I've got far too much makeup. I thought I would just show you a sample of um, what I have and what I like to use. Um, the first up is the Estee Lauder Daywear Moisturiser. I wear this all the time. I think it's a fab buy. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it costs. I think it's about £25. Could be a little bit less, I'm not sure. But I think it's really good for people who have maybe like dry and oily skin like I have. Um, and I just put it on all over my face and especially around this area here. Um, like around here it gets really quite dry quite quickly and up here I, get, I tend to get quite dry skin there. But I find that this stuff um, actually sorts it out, so it's well worth an, a try if you're looking for a moisturiser for like dry patches, but at the same time if it's quite oily, sensitive skin, I'd say this one's really good. Now, um, yesterday um, my uh, first ever She Said Beauty box arrived, and I already knew what was going to be in it because I've read the blog posts, but um, I got primed and ready, and I got in it fix me up spray and I decided to use these today and um, because they look quite funky I was quite excited about them arriving and um, the primed and ready is like it's like a clear primer sludge again you can just see that and when it goes on your face before I put it on after my moisturizer but before my foundation obviously um, and it, I couldn't get over how soft my skin felt with it it felt really good uh, so, and it says on it that it um, do, do. for a flawless co um, complexion to make a smoothing makeup primer and I, I have to say it was top notch and I felt like my, once my foundation went on and all the other makeup went on it, it didn't look patchy and didn't have dry patches it just looked quite smooth I was really impressed and then once I put my uh, foundation on highlighters on pressed powder on that kind of thing I put on but not my eyeshadow I put this on first never used anything like this before and I thought oh spraying something wet on your face once you put on your foundation that I thought this can't possibly work but I must say I was again I was wrong and I did my makeup this morning and it's now half past nine at night and it's still looking quite good I've only had to touch up like the areas on my chin and a little bit around my nose once today and that's because I was out and it was really hot in the restaurant but I have to say I was really impressed with this um, I didn't put on my eye makeup uh, before I spray this because I thought it might run. So if anybody does, if you can spray this when you've got your eye makeup on, can you please let me know? But I didn't because um, I was scared that my eye makeup and that would run. But these little products are really, really good. I've never even seen them in the shops before. So look out for them or sign up to the box. You might be in time to get your September freebie um, before now. So that's what's in my makeup box, uh, bags. So far. Next thing I got, I've got my Naked palette and I only got this last week. I've never had one before but I'm in love with it already. Um, my favourite colours at the moment as a base, I've got the Virgin one and then next to it, Sin. And then I quite like Sidecar and then if I want to put a little bit, Creeps quite nice and so is the Gunmetal. I'm really impressed with this palette and like the Prime and Ready for your face, it came with this uh, priming lotion that I've seen reviews on but I didn't realise how good it was. I've never used um, a primer for my eyeshadow before. Um, you just, that's the thing, you just dab it on here and here, rub it in and then put your eyeshadow on top. And I'm not actually wearing the Naked palette tonight 
but um, I used the primer anyway and my eyeshadow, I don't know if you can, if you can see properly but it's not even creased and <laughs> never, it's always, always, my eyeshadow normally always creases so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, <clears throat> next thing in my makeup bag, I have this. Now this is Smoky Eyes and I've got the pencil to go with it, you've probably seen it on the TV. And what's really funny is, um, I've been wanting to get this for ages but every time I go to Tesco's they've just got this and they don't have this or they've got this and none of this left. And um, I've seen the adverts on the TV a lot so I finally purchased them and I put them on my bedroom window and my three year old, who's a boy as well, <laughs> came through and he's like, Mum, Mum, that's Smoky Eyes, that's Smoky Eyes. I was like, oh my God. Either he watches too much TV or I've been going on about this product far too much but he recognised the packaging and like I say he's three years old I thought that was quite impressive. Anyway I have these on today, both this and this and I did what it said in the packaging, I put the line uh, across each eye and then I used the end of it to blend it and I like actually I did put a little bit of the Virgin Ur Urban Decay over just to just sort of to blend it in and as you can see I've got my smoky eye look and I love this and the mascara is really dark it's for volume express volumizing mascara volumizing express my mascara and today I've been really really chuffed with it can you see mm, scary eyes but <laughs> it worked really well I'm really chuffed that I got that Next thing I've got is, um, this is my Chanel Illuminating Base. Um, I don't use this every single day um, and I didn't use it today because I was trying out the primer but it gives you a nice shimmer um, to your skin after you put on your moisturiser before you put on your foundation. Um, it's really, really, really nice. Um, I, I think that it makes my um, foundation sit well but now I've got the other primer and maybe I might not use this as much but I do like it. Next up. I'm absolutely in love with my new foundation, which is Dior, it's Forever by Dior, and this shade is number 10, which is the one of the lighter shades because I've got really pale skin. It's got a nice pump nozzle to it. Um, and for the last fortnight, I have been using um, a sample that I got from the Dior lady in John Lewis, and I have totally used the, the entire sample up. It's given me such a flawless um, coverage. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. It is beautiful on, honestly. The coverage is great. Smells lovely, lovely packaging. It's got the Dior skin logo around here. It's quite bad light. You get quite a lot, it was 28 pounds. But you get um, 30 mils and I don't use a lot of foundation so it should last me a, a long time. I'm actually normally an Estee Lauder double wear girl but I am, I am cheating on it just now um, because I have this. I'll probably go back and forth but at the moment I'm quite in love with this foundation. Um, la, la, la. What else have we got? I've got quite a few more products, you're probably bored to tears but please keep watching and leave comments if you are interested in the products or any questions you have. Next thing I have is the Dior Skin Flash. Now this is basically Dior's version of the Touche Eclat. It's exactly the same, I'm not going to go into what this does, you all know it's not a highlighting pen. I love it. This one is the lightest one, I think it's Rose. 001. There's three different shades, this is the lightest one. Again, I can't say enough about that, it's so good. And while we're on about Dior, I'm a bit of a Dior, Dior fanatic this month, I have Dior Nude Concealer. Now, I was looking for a really good concealer for a long time now. This is again the lightest shade, 001 Ivory. Now, a little of this goes a long way and I just put it on any of it. I've got quite a lot of acne and blemishes, but either the light in here is very, very good and you can't really see it, but I think it's actually because of this. Um, it was 19 or 20 pounds. It's the best concealer I've had in a long time. It really does just cover them up and especially if you're using it along with the Dior foundation, you get some really good coverage out of this. So it's one of my favourite concealers. And I was away this weekend at Malmaison and when I came to use it today, I thought I'd left it and I was actually, 
heartbroken. I know that's really petty because it's just makeup, but I was actually quite devastated about that, losing this product. <coughs> Next up, I'm going to show you what else I've got. I've got high beam, but I also have a raised paste. Now, I was given a tip, which I do. I put a little bit of the raised paste here, and then I top it off by putting the high beam on top down to show you and what I do is I mix the two together now I was given this tip by the girl at the benefit counter in boots because I don't like a really shiny face but I do like highlighter and the raised paste gets rid of any bags under your eyes and things so what you can do is you just dab it on here dab it on just put it on here and the raised paste helps to retract the light from the high beam so it still gives you a glow, but you're not too shiny. And you can put it all the way up around here with the erase paste and the high beam mixed together and around here. And um, you wouldn't put the uh, erase paste up here if you didn't mix it into the, hi uh, the high beam, but it comes out in quite a nice natural shade with the high beam that makes it okay to put it up around here. And it just gets rid of any bags and things under your eyes. And, and that tip that she gave me, I thought was really good. And, uh, and it does work. I don't like to be too shiny. Um, so, the two combined together is really quite fab. So I've got quite a few items to go. I'll try and I'll try and run through these really quickly because it's eleven minutes already. Uh, next up is the Benny tint. Now this is just like a highlighter for your for your cheeks. I'll just dab some on there, as you can see. This gives you some uh, like. A nice coat. Um, it's a bit like the posy tint, but I find that the po which I do I do have, but I find that the posy tint is too pinky. I prefer a darker shade. You know, like my flash, my new flashes in my hair, my lipstick. I prefer a, a more purpler shade. But basically, it's highlighter for your cheeks. And it, I kind of don't know how much it is. I actually bought this um, on a blog sale the other day for eight pounds, which was a pure bargain because it's more expensive than that at the counter. Next up, I've got my powder. Look at the state of that. Um, this is Estee Lauder's Press Powder, and it's an Ecru, and it's on its way out. I need a new one, but it's so as far as pressed powders go, you can't go wrong with this. Um, and a rimmel one would probably act just the same as that. This is probably a bit overpriced for what I paid, but like I say, I'm normally an Estee Lauder type of person, so I just got all my makeup at the same time. That's that. <laughs> Another Estee Lauder product. This is their um, bronze shimmer kit and it is lovely. Nice bronzer. It's got um, a nice array of shades from your dark right up to your top, all your goldy shades, which you just put on here, around here. Again, really good, 20 something pounds. Then I've got my Lip Plump by Benefit. And basically, it's a concealer for your lips. You put it on before, rub it in, you don't need a great deal. And then you would put your lipstick on on top. This is the lipstick shade that I have on top of the lip pump. This is French. It's my favourite lipstick at the moment. It's from Benefit again. And I just put that over the top of the Benefit thing. And it actually makes your lipstick stay longer. I've had a couple of glasses of wine and a cup of coffee tonight. And my lips are still, still red. So I'm chuffed with that. And I had to show you this. I bought this from what Kimmy did next. Um, check out her link. She has got a blog sale on just now as well. And it's cool. This is an Urban Decay lip gloss. And this one's called Eric. I don't know if you can see. The name is actually on the box. Oh, it's on the side as well. Eric. And basically, it's a little bit of eye candy as well as a lipstick. You just, you know, you just shake the thing. And he's suddenly in his underwear. Well done, Urban Decay. Look at that. Ooh. I think she's selling these for just under five pounds. She got loads of different colours. Do you see? Oh, I could just play with that all night, look. See? She's naked. Okay, enough of that. I'll play that later. <laughs> um, that's a really nice lip gloss. Actually, I will show you the actual colour because it is a lip gloss, not just a bit of eye candy. A nice pinky sort of colour. I really like those kind of shades, so. Next up, I've got um, my Pleasures perfume, and it's nearly done. 
so floral. It's really nice and I like a lot of floral scents. So I wear this every day. Um, I've got others for nights and things, but that's my main perfume for the day. <coughs> right, I promise I'm going to get two more items after this. This is my Brow Zings kit from Benefit. This is the uh, brow shaping kit in light. And again, there it is. They've got the wax, the dark brown's the wax, and the light is the shader. And you get two teensy little brushes like this. Let's see. You use this one to put on and this one to blend. And they're little and they're cute. I, I prefer to use a larger brush because I feel like I've got more control. But they're cute for going um, through the days and that. And they come with the teensy as little tweezers, but they're through the house and I forgot to put them back. And I'm not going to go and show you, but they're like miniature tweezers just for getting any strays and that. And it's really handy if you're going away anywhere um, to have the, this kit. It's really good. Very handy. Sorry, something's just popped up on my screen. Oh, that's better. Before we get cut off, I'm just going to quickly go my last one. This is my blusher kit. This is Estee Lauder and I've only got Radiant Peach and a little bit of the Bronze Goddess left. I use these quite a bit. The Radiant Peach is on the bottom and the Bronze Book Goddess is at the top. As you can see, the Pink Kiss and the Nude Rose have gone long ago. I actually prefer, in a blusher, I prefer it to be pinker, but in the tints I prefer it to be darker for some reason. It's a bit weird, but I have been persevering with the Radiant Peach, but I really do need to invest in one of these compacts. I normally buy the the gift that Estee Lauder do every year with all the different makeup and get all your brushes and that. I buy that to myself every year for about £50, so I'm looking forward to this year's coming out. <sighs> Last but not least, I have this lovely little um, hand cream by Le Ocositane or something. Can somebody please tell me how to pronounce that because I do not know. And this is in rose and I got this free with my Urban Decay. It came in the package from Debenhams and this is such a gorgeous hand cream. It smells like, oh, it's floral and sweet. And it actually reminds me of going to my granny's house in the summer or something. It just, I can't, it's just gorgeous really nice. Um, I don't know how much they are. Um, I think what Kimmy did next was selling these as well, funnily enough. I didn't get this from her, so she might know better than me, but oh, it's just beautiful. I just put a hand cream. I've been using it on my neck and things because my husband thinks it qu smells quite nice. <clears throat> so he's happy with that. I'm happy with that because it smells great. Well guys, that's everything in my makeup bag and you're probably thinking, thank God for that. But if there was anything that you liked um, and you've not seen before or you want to know where I got it, or if you've got it as well and maybe not liked it as much as me, leave a comment in the section below and I will list everything that was there. Um, I like to get feedback. Um, this is only my second vlog, so um, if you'd like to let me know what you think, um, I will try and... Uh, take all your comments into consideration. It might make me a better vlogger for it. Um, but until then, bye and thank you for watching.